Hello friends and welcome to let's learn a micro switch to 5 topic vlog number 4. Today we will learn how to connect power apps to on-premise SharePoint. Basically I will explain how to install data gateway, how to make a connection power apps, how to connect power app data table with SharePoint 2019 on-premise. With this video my objective is to install a data gateway on a, on, for an on-premise SharePoint and we can, we want to load the data in Power Apps from SharePoint 2019. So let's have a look. Before we I continue, I request you to connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn, follow my blog, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead with the video. I am logged in in a in one of my SharePoint 2019 servers. Actually, this is a labs environment I have created. If you want to know how to install SharePoint 2019 on an Azure uh, box, you can look at my blog and you will find it there. I will also be pasting a link to that in my description of the video and you can have a link and go there. Before we do anything, first step is to install a data gateway. But instead of, instead of downloading it from the internet uh, by Googling, I will recommend that you do like this. You go to connections, you go to makepowerapp.com and then go to connections. Here you will see that you can create new connections and click on this and collect Sharp, connect SharePoint. Then you should select connect using on-premises data gateway and you will see what are different authentication types and I already have created a couple of them but I will say install a data, data gateway. This will download the data gateway software or the MSI file and you, you can download and install it. So run. So there are minimum requirements that it should have .NET version, you know, and, but this is a lapse environment, so I'm not worried about performance bottlenecks and all, but if you are going to do it in a prod version, you should have a cluster of data gateway and also very good uh, box, you know, with Windows and everything, Windows Server and everything. But in this case, this is a lapse environment, so I'll just go ahead. So then we, we have to wait for uh, to be installed. So let's do that. Once the installation is done, you should we should provide email address to use this data gateway. And I'll be providing my developer account of 65 developer account in this which I'll be also using to create power apps. So it will ask for your user ID and password. We just need to wait for it. So, as I said, we need to give password to this. And you can say, it will say register a new gateway on this computer. So we will do that. And we need to name this. And a recovery key also. configure so now it is done uh, if you want to use logic apps or other services then you have to create a gateway in azure but we are not interested in that right now we are interested in power apps which is already ready and also power bi which is also ready and power automate but more our most of the concern is with power apps you can see the other tabs that whether it is if you want to have another service account, you can do that. Otherwise, it, it always runs on anti, anti service. And these are different tests you can do. But I have tested it and it works fine. So it should be okay. And you can see where is the custom folder for Power BI also. Okay. So now we are done with this part. So we will close this. And now we'll come back here. And we are trying to connect it to our SharePoint. So I will provide my username and password. And 
and I'll refresh this so that I get the gateway which I just created now. So you will say we created this one. Say create. So now our gateway is created. Okay. Now we will create a Power Apps and we'll try to connect it to the SharePoint. So my objective is just to, to show you that how the data can be loaded. So we will do that. We, I will not create a full on Power Apps, but just a dummy one. Now the first step is that we can connect to our the new connector we have done. And you can see in the left you have SharePoint. And so I already have a SharePoint site in our 2019 environment and I have created it. So I will copy the URL from here. And then I'll paste it. I'll say connect. Okay, something wrong happened. I think I selected the wrong one. So I will select this one now. So now it is connected and I should input custom table name. What does it mean that I need to enter the name of the list which I want to make connection to. So it will not load the names of the list automatically, you know, as it does in is in, in uh, SharePoint Online. So now you can see it is connected actually here and I'll insert a data table as I said before. And I will connect this to task. And you will see it has loaded the data from here. If you go to in SharePoint, you will see that list has one item. Test one. And that is what we are able to see here. So as you can see, by installing simple steps through data gateway and then we can connect our power apps to the SharePoint environment on premise environment. Please note that this is a lapse environment. So I installed the data gateway on the SharePoint server and also access the power apps from there. But if you have a network connection like intranet connection in your environment, you will be able to connect from your desktop and connect to a data gateway which is installed on another server. So for this lapse environment, I just wanted to prove that how it works and show you the in information. So that is how it can be done. So yeah, that's it in this video. And as I mentioned, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the video. Thank you for today. Thank you. Bye.